Finding a dropshipping supplier can be a pretty easy thing to do until you realize that the supplier you chose is actually one that ships their products in 12 to 14 business days and they have very crappy quality products. Shoot! Look, when it comes to suppliers, you have to understand that a supplier is pretty much the backbone of our business. Without them, we can't exist. We need our suppliers. And quite frankly, without the right ones, we're not gonna be able to compete with any of the other people out there that are trying to do the exact same thing that we are. So today's video is gonna focus on some of the best suppliers that you can use for your dropshipping business. Now, what I went ahead and did is I moved them into two different categories. So the first category is gonna be pretty much the best overall suppliers. So the suppliers that you can go to and get a little bit of pretty much anything. And then the other section is gonna be a more niche section. This section is gonna feature specific suppliers for specific niches, like let's say pets, household goods, and other different types of niches. So a few of the different things that we're gonna cover in today's video is gonna be, for one, what's to look for in a supplier? So what requirements do our suppliers need to meet in order for us to actually start working with them? confidently the do's and don'ts of choosing one and finally the different types of advantages that we have to working with each one of these suppliers so if you've been having a hard time finding the right suppliers for your dropshipping business whether it be because all of the suppliers you're going with have either very long shipping times or pretty crappy products then this video is for you so if that's something that you've been struggling with or if you just want to learn more about suppliers or just add more suppliers to your dropshipping arsenal then make sure to check out this video all the way through and of course make sure to check out the cheat sheet. In it, I'm gonna give you all of the links to all of these different suppliers, along with all of the different tips, tricks, and benefits that I'm gonna outline in today's video. And to gain access to that, make sure you go ahead and comment down below the hashtag suppliers, and let me know which one of these suppliers you plan on using for your store, or which one you're already using. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to know what to look for in our supplier. If we don't look for these things, then we might find the worst supplier. And again, we'll end up with suppliers that are giving us two to three weeks shipping times. So the first thing that we need to look for in a supplier is the one thing that I always mention in pretty much every single one of my videos where I even just bring up the term supplier. And that is communication. You need to have good communication with your suppliers. If you don't, the chain is just gonna break. There's there's not gonna be a chain. So think of it this way. Our suppliers are essentially gonna be an extension of our own customer service. So if it takes two days for our suppliers to get back to us, how long is it gonna take for us to get back to our customer? Take for example, the other day I received an email in my eBay store and I was asked a question about a particular product that I didn't know the answer to. So I had to reach out to my supplier. Now my supplier, thankfully, they get back to me almost 24 seven. So they were able to get back to me within a couple of hours. Once I received that email back, I didn't notice it was there. So it took me a couple of hours to be able to find that email and then get that information and relay it over to my customer. Now, if it would have taken my supplier two days, it would have taken me two days and a few extra hours. Now, by that time, my customer would have been long gone. They would have either purchased their product somewhere else, or by that time, they'd just simply not be interested anymore. Or they probably just forgot. As a general rule of thumb, in terms of communication from your suppliers, if it's a regular business day, make sure that you can get a response from them within 24 hours. Anything more than 24 hours, it's unacceptable. Unacceptable. We're gonna need at a maximum 24 hours response time. Again, that doesn't always include weekends. And same thing goes for different types of holidays. Remember, depending on where our suppliers are, they might close for particular holidays, like let's say Chinese New Year's in China. Now, speaking of communication, another thing that needs to be clear is the actual communication. So you need to be able to effectively communicate with your suppliers, so that way you can understand what they're saying and essentially nothing's lost in translation. When things are lost in translation, that can start really opening up a huge can of worms. Your supplier tells you something, you misinterpreted it, and you gave your customers the wrong information. They purchase the item, they receive it, they realize that you gave them the wrong information, and then you have a unhappy customer. A customer that can potentially start a chargeback, make a return, or leave bad reviews. And most importantly, a customer that's not gonna come back. A customer that's not gonna come back to you and spend their money with you. Now, an open line of communication is something that we need to establish with our suppliers, which in turn, in the long run, is gonna end up building the next quality that we need to look for in our supplier, which is trust. I need you to trust me. So when you trust your supplier and your supplier trusts you, then there shouldn't be any issues with literally anything in the entire process, whether that be processing payments, getting products shipped out, or having quality products shipped out on time. One thing that you really need to look for in your suppliers in terms of communication and trust 
is gonna be that they're honest in terms of their actual shipping times. Right, come on, let's be honest. Not only that, but their products, and if there's any potential shipping delays, that your supplier will let you know about that. Now, this type of communication is really gonna be more for suppliers that you're gonna work personally with. So let's say some suppliers that have warehouses in China or in any other country that you can reach out to and talk to them personally or directly. If you were talking about retail suppliers, like take, for example, Target, it's not really gonna apply in this case because they're huge corporations. You can pretty much just expect a certain level of trust and communication already from these types of suppliers. At the end of the day, a supplier really is gonna end up being your partner, not just somebody that you just purchase from. Again, if you're purchasing from a retail supplier, then you are gonna be kind of, you know, just purchasing from them, but you do need to also make sure that they have an appropriate level of quality and customer service. Like Target, they have amazing customer service. I keep referencing Target just because I love Target and they are a pretty good supplier, but besides the point. Now, the last quality that we need to look for in our supplier is, well, this goes without saying, but fast shipping. If our suppliers don't have fast or effective shipping, then we're out of luck. We need to have shipping times that our products at most are gonna take two weeks to reach our customers. No more than that. We don't wanna work with suppliers that are gonna ship our items in two weeks because this means that that's gonna add an extra two weeks on top of the two weeks of transit time. So can you imagine being a customer and having to wait an entire month to get your product? No way. By that time, I don't even want it anymore. I would probably already forgot about it. And that actually happens a lot. I've purchased quite a few different products from China, a few from AliExpress, a few from Timu, and a few from some other ones, just personally. And I choose the cheapest shipping possible, which again, can sometimes take up to a month. By the time that I get that product, I already forgot about it. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started with the countdown, shall we? Now to get started, these are going to be the best overall suppliers that you can pretty much source any niche from. And the first one on this list is gonna be none other than the AutoDS Marketplace and private suppliers. So if you sign up with AutoDS, which by the way, if you're not signed up just yet, you can get started for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, once you have everything set up, you're signed up and you're signed in, then you're gonna have access to tons of different resources and tons of different products that you can source for your dropshipping store. So first up, we have the marketplace. On here, we have tons of different types of products that you can check out and see what's trending, see what people are buying, and get more ideas as to what you can start selling and the different niches that you can start getting into. Now, if we switch over to the handpicked products section, all of these products are legitimately picked by hand. So every single product that you're gonna see here in any one of these niches that are up here have been chosen by expert dropshippers for their current demand, virality, and profit potential. Now, not only that, but with the AutoDS handpicked product section, you also have access to a lot of other resources, a lot of which can actually help you market and sell your products. So take, for example, this 12 volt wireless car polisher. Now, taking a look at the product page on AutoDS, we can see that we have a lot of information on this page. So first off, we have an engagement score and we have a saturation score. On top of that, we have how many times this product has been ordered, how much it's typically being sold for and what our potential profit is. So what are a lot of these different things? Well, these up here, obviously those are pretty self-explanatory, but what about the engagement score? and a saturation score. So the engagement score shows us how much engagement this product has all over social media, whether that be through Facebook ads, TikTok organic marketing, Instagram, whatever it is. If it's social media and it has to do with this product, then all of that is taken into consideration in this engagement score. Now, right now it's in mild, so there's not too much talking about it online, but this actually presents a very good opportunity for you to come in and actually disrupt that space. You can start making waves with this particular product if you have your marketing right. And one of the best places that I'm always gonna recommend to start marketing your products for a completely free is TikTok. That's always gonna be the best place that you can start marketing all of your content or all of your products. And to be able to help you out with that, you also have here the different types of social ads. So if you don't know how to create an ad or if you don't really have any ideas on what you can record to be able to you know, start promoting your product, then go ahead and order one to yourself and follow any one of these videos. So let's check this one out really fast. Just go ahead and click on see original ad. Then we can go in and see what these people are doing and we can try to create something similar. So here really all they're doing is just showing you how to use it. Now, obviously there's a lot more other videos that you can take examples from, but this is just one to show you, you know, more or less how you can get started. Now, aside from that, we have the saturation score. So what the saturation score is, it's simply how saturated the markets are with this product. 
So right now it's actually at busy. Thankfully, it's not at full market. So you still have a lot of potential to be able to go in there and start making some sales. But even if it's at full market, you still have the option to be able to sell it. The only thing is, is you're going to have to really rethink your marketing and think about how you're going to present this product in front of a lot more people. So really, in this case, if it is in full market, you just need to start thinking outside the box and how you can make your content or your videos or your ads stand out above the rest. Then if you're actually looking to sell this product online in your own website, but you don't really know how to structure your website or what to do, then you have a few other examples over here. You have the competitor section that is going to show you all of these different competitors that are selling this same exact product and all of their prices. So here we have one, the E2, E2 lab, I guess it's called. This is their page. Pretty simple. Then we have this one, the smart saker, where they just have a bunch of different ones. Do we, I don't think we really want to take uh, examples from this one. Well, actually, these are different bundles, but either way, it's pretty messy. It's not very organized. Then we have the DGD auto care. I think this might be actually the best one because it's the one that's most related to what the actual product is. But that's besides the point. We're digressing right now. Let's get back to our suppliers. And then finally, if you do like this product, since it is through AutoDS and you actually want to drop ship it, if you want to add it to your draft section, well, I actually already have this one in my drafts or in my products over here, it'll tell you to import draft. Instead, like I said, for me, it shows view in products because I already imported it. But if you want to add this to your draft section or if you want to add this to your dropshipping store, just click on import draft and then it'll get transferred to your draft section where you can go ahead and click to edit. I'm just showing you a different product now. And on this page, you can go ahead and edit everything that you need. You can optimize the title, the description, the different variations, change the pricing on the images. You can go ahead and remove them, add them, edit them. Everything is done through AutoDS. What other suppliers give you this much functionality? None, right? But we're not done just yet. On top of that, you also have TikTok Spy, which includes all of the different products that you can find on TikTok, all of the different ads, all for you to be able to look through them or simply just filter through all of these different filters and look for more winning products. On top of looking for more winning products, you can also use these as references to structure your own content or to structure your own videos or your ads. Then aside from our handpicked product section, we also have our trending product section, which is going to be all products that are picked by AI. So an AI model scrapes the internet, looks for all of the most trending products, products that are currently starting to get engagement and starting to sell and adds them to this section. But we're not done just yet. You also have print on demand. With print on demand, you're able to essentially increase your product offerings. You can start offering a lot more products to your customers that you normally wouldn't. And since it is print on demand, this is all going to be customized or it's going to be your style or your own branding or your own designs. Now in the marketplace, one thing that I didn't show you is the actual private suppliers. So once you click on the marketplace, then up here where it shows suppliers, you can switch this over to AutoDS suppliers. And all of these suppliers have been vetted by AutoDS for one, to ensure shipping times and two, to ensure quality. So all of these different products that are available through the AutoDS suppliers, on top of giving you some pretty good shipping times, like let's say this one right here ships between nine to 12 business days. And by the way, that's nine to 12 business days for it to get to your customer, not for the supplier to actually ship out the item. But as you can see, this one's nine to 12 business days. And as an added bonus, if you see customizable branding, that means that you can upload your own logo and that'll print on the invoice and a thank you card that's included in your orders. That just gives it a more personal touch. Now, the last thing that I want to touch up on when it comes to using AutoDS as your supplier is the fact that actually using a system like AutoDS is going to streamline your entire dropshipping business. For one, it streamlines your product importing. As you saw, all I had to do was click on import draft and it was added to my draft section, which can then be added to my store in pretty much just a matter of minutes. Aside from that, if you want to import any products from any other supplier, all you have to do is click on add products, single product or multiple products, choose your store and copy and paste the link on here, which in turn will import everything from that listing. It'll import all of the different variations, the pictures, the titles, the descriptions, everything. So that way you don't have to do everything manually. And we all know that sitting there and saving every single picture and copying over every single title and variation, it can take maybe about five to 10 minutes per product. Now imagine if you're doing that for 20 or 30 different products, you're going to be in front of your computer doing the same exact thing all day, but using a system like AutoDS that pretty much cuts that time by more than half. So instead of spending maybe 10 minutes per product, you're going to be spending one or two. All right, next up, we have a supplier that pretty much everyone knows about. And at this point, it's kind of we need to stop calling them a supplier because they're not necessarily suppliers. So up next, we have AliExpress. 
Now, AliExpress is, like I said, it's not necessarily a supplier. AliExpress is a marketplace where essentially dropshippers from, let's say, China are dropshipping products and then we're purchasing it from them. So us as dropshippers are purchasing dropship products from a Chinese marketplace. So just as a quick example, let's take a look at one of these. I don't know why when, whenever you click on a product that takes you to that page where it shows you a bunch of other products. But anyway, this, this product right here, this Magic Mountain Yeti tumbler cup, this product is not being sold directly by AliExpress. It's being sold by a merchant that sells on AliExpress. That's why you're gonna find five or six different suppliers or more that have the same exact product because these are all different merchants or different drop shippers that are going to be selling on AliExpress. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to have bad pricing, but it does mean that prices on AliExpress could potentially be higher than some of the other suppliers that we can work with. Aside from that, since we are middlemen that are going to be working with other middlemen, the shipping times on here can be a little bit longer than we'd like them to be. But not like before, like let's say four or five years ago, where it would take an entire month to get your products. Now, that is still a possible option that does happen from time to time. But because of this, you need to ensure that whatever suppliers you're sourcing your products from on AliExpress, you need to make sure that they have quick shipping. So once you click on the product link, just look over here and make sure that the shipping time is within two weeks. Besides that, though, pretty much any product in the history of dropshipping can be found on AliExpress. Really, AliExpress right now is primarily used to test products and test the market to be able to find new products that are coming in so that way you can test them through aliexpress you can order a couple see how they are and then you can find a more dedicated supplier that actually specializes in these products one of the reasons i say this is because it's happened to me time and time again where i decide you know what i'm going to give one of these suppliers in aliexpress a chance and i'm going to import their products and i'm just going to keep them as my sole supplier for that particular product what ends up happening is I'll get an order maybe one or two months down the line and there's an error. And I personally use AutoDS to fulfill all of my orders, but then I get an error. Why? Because the supplier that I chose doesn't offer that product anymore. Now this could be completely avoided by changing the settings on my AutoDS account, where if they run out of stock in my supplier, then it'll show as zero on my store, but I haven't set that up just yet. So then what ends up happening is I either have to cancel the order or look for a different supplier immediately. <laughs> So AliExpress does have a lot of different resources that you can use to your advantage to be able to start looking for new products or new up and coming trending products. So for one, they have the AliExpress Dropship Center where you can find some of the best selling products on AliExpress. So all of the different products that you see on here are products that have been selling recently. On top of that, you also get a few extra information. So you get to see a star rating and how many have actually been sold. So let's say this one in particular, this Denture Bath Box Organizer has some pretty good reviews at 4.8 stars and over 355 have sold. So you can kind of use this as a sort of social proof to start looking for these different types of products with some other suppliers. Of course, you can order them through here and test them out, see how it works, test out the waters. But again, if you want to dedicate yourself to a supplier, I wouldn't necessarily go with AliExpress because again, you run the risk of sometimes just having that product be no more with that particular supplier, along with cutting into some of your profits because again, most of the sellers on AliExpress or most of the suppliers on AliExpress are dropshippers themselves. Now, one of the biggest things about AliExpress that you need to keep in mind is that this is a Chinese marketplace and almost every single supplier that you find on here is also gonna be a Chinese supplier. Now, because of this, you have to watch out for Chinese New Year. During Chinese New Year, everything shuts down. There is no shipping, there's no customer service, there's nothing. So always keep that in mind. There is gonna be a dead period for Chinese New Year in which case you're not going to have any orders shipping out. You're not going to have any communication with your suppliers because again, everything is completely closed. All right, next up, we have one of my favorite suppliers and that is Amazon. Now, the reason I love Amazon so much is of course, because they have Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime is going to ensure that your customers have their products like that. Like I always say, we live in the age of Amazon. So if your suppliers can match Amazon shipping, then you have some winning suppliers on your hands. Now, not every single supplier can match Amazon, although there are a few that can. AutoDS being one of them because some of their different types of products actually ship between two to about four business days. So that does in fact actually rival Amazon. But besides that, on Amazon, you can find products that are up and coming. You can also find products that are in demand 
currently, and you can even use it to start spawning trends. So on Amazon, my favorite sections over here are gonna be the best sellers, the new releases, and the movers and shakers. Now the best sellers, self-explanatory, these are the best selling products on Amazon, period. Or at least for the time being. We can use this to get ideas as to what is currently trending, like let's say this wall charger right here. It's actually pretty cool because it has the two side ones, the USBs and the front one. We can see that car windshield sunshades are also trending. This one has over 108,000 reviews. Click on it really fast. I mean, summer is coming up, so it kind of makes sense, but over 20,000 have been purchased in the last month. This is also another great thing that Amazon provides you. How many have been purchased on Amazon in the last month? And this particular one is absolutely killing it. Besides that, you have the new releases. This is actually my favorite section. And on here, you're gonna find products that have just been released. Products that you can see what's trending, like let's say this bug zapper. Again, we have summer coming up. Just take that as an example. But we have summer coming up and this is this is gonna be trending because during summer, mosquitoes start popping off. Now, over 4,000 have been purchased in the last month. This one's selling for about 35 bucks. It's not bad. And then last but not least, we have movers and shakers. Movers and shakers are gonna be the products that have been making waves in the last 24 hours. This is constantly updated and it's always changing. But here you can find some ideas for new products, again, that you can start offering. This page can actually start helping you spot trends before they even start. So for one, check out right here, you got the Hawaiian shaved ice maker, which this is actually a really good idea, cold pressed juicer, and these three pack ice cube trays. So using all of these different resources, you really have the chance to validate your products and make sure that you're selling products that are in demand. Using that information that I just showed you where it shows you how many were just sold or how many were sold in the, in the past month, that can really help you spot products that are starting to or are currently in demand. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of the products that you find on Amazon, not all of them, but a lot of the products that you find on Amazon, you can find them on AliExpress for pretty much the exact same price. A lot of the suppliers that are on AliExpress are sending their products over to Amazon and selling them for pretty much the same thing. So because of that, you're able to take advantage of those cheap prices and Amazon's resources to be able to get one of the best suppliers that you can work with. Now, I do understand that a lot of people's concern with Amazon is the fact that they're not very friendly to dropshippers. So if they realize you're sending different products to a lot of different addresses, they could restrict, suspend, or completely flat out cancel your account. But there are workarounds around this. For one, you can create an account every single time you get banned. I'm just kidding, that's just gonna take way too much work. But what we can do is we can use AutoDS. So if you use AutoDS to help manage your dropshipping store, then when you import the products from Amazon and you make a sale, instead of AutoDS fulfilling that order using your Amazon buyer account, or you fulfilling that order for that matter, AutoDS uses its own buyer accounts. AutoDS has lots of different buyer accounts that it can use in order to be able to source all of the products from Amazon without risking anyone's account and having it suspended. Now, in order to do this, what you need to do is, for one, of course, sign up with AutoDS and you need to top up your balance because for this, what you're gonna use is fulfilled by AutoDS. Now, whenever you get an order, AutoDS will take the balance from here, which I actually have to load up again, and it'll use that to make the purchase. Then once it's done on your orders page, you're gonna see all of this information. So you're gonna see whether the item has been shipped, whether it's been ordered, or if it's been delivered. So this is a very convenient solution to account restrictions and bans whenever you're using Amazon as your supplier. Now, one of the biggest features, obviously, aside from the quick shipping from Amazon, on is the fact that their customer service is absolutely outstanding. Even though when you first write in, you, you talk to a chatbot, that chatbot is actually very well optimized. I don't mind talking to that chatbot because before I've had horrible experiences with other ones and Amazon just makes everything so much easier. And it does actually let you pretty easily talk to a real person, which just makes everything that much better. Besides that though, like I mentioned, you do have the option to integrate Amazon as your supplier with AutoDS so you can enjoy the benefits of automation. All right, next up we have eBay. On eBay, you can find pretty much anything, whether it be new, used, old, vintage, retro, up and coming, anything that you can think of, you can find on eBay. And that in itself can potentially pose a problem. So when you're using eBay as your supplier, or let me reword that, when you're using eBay's marketplace to find your suppliers, you need to find suppliers that are going to be selling multiples of the same item. You don't want to find sellers that are selling, let's say this mug because they just have an extra one in their house. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for suppliers that are going to have multiples of the same item. These are actual suppliers, not just your typical day-to-day -day household seller. 
Because you have to keep in mind that when it comes to eBay, that's kind of what it was made for. A place where somebody can go on and start selling off all of their things that they have around the house. Of course, ever since then, it's evolved a ton. And now you have full-on suppliers with full-on stores on eBay that you can use to your advantage. Now, because of this, because it is a platform, sellers are compelled to give you the best possible customer service. So for one, they get good reviews. And two, eBay doesn't crack down on them. One way that you can start looking for these types of suppliers is simply by looking at the images. So if we're looking at, let's say, phone cases, we want to look for suppliers like these over here. Some that are top rated, that have a lot of reviews. This one has over 2000 and that have sold multiples. So this one has sold over 49 of this same product, which means they are supplier for this product. Now, this is pretty much for any product or any niche but check this out. So right now I just looked up a cell phone and you can see that here, let's say this supplier right here, they have over 17 sold of the same cell phone. So that means more than likely they are a supplier and they have stock of this. But if you scroll down and you look at this one right here, you can see that this one's pre-owned and the seller only has about 460 reviews, which was actually really good, especially if it's at 100%. But this product, there's only one of them. So you can see that not a lot have been sold. And given the fact that this is pre-owned, there's only going to be one at least in this particular condition. So once this item is purchased, it's gone. And that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the products that once it's purchased and it can keep being repurchased over and over and over. So quick pro tip, if you're looking to source, let's say clothes from eBay or to start selling different types of, let's say shirts and stuff, don't go for things that are thrifted. Don't go things that are vintage or retro because typically that means there's only one or two of the same item. All right, next up, we have another one of my favorite suppliers, and that's Etsy. Now, Etsy, again, is a marketplace with different sellers in it. But the advantage that you have to using Etsy is the fact that pretty much everything that's on here is handmade. And all of the sellers on here, or suppliers in this case, have amazing customer service because good customer service is rewarded by Etsy. Now, handmade products have huge profit potential. You can upcharge for these a lot more because again, there's work being put into them, specifically handmade products. So again, when something's handmade, you can sell it at a considerable upcharge. Etsy is actually perfect for boutiques. A lot of the different products that they sell on here, like let's say different types of clothes, different types of blouses, shirts, and things like that, they're perfect to offer in a boutique. Now, one cool thing about Etsy is that really when you think about it and when you get down to it, since pretty much everything on here is going to be handmade, a lot of these sellers or these suppliers are actually manufacturers. So that gives you a huge advantage because you can send them a message, you can talk to them and see if you can have anything personalized or see if you can make a change to any one of these different products. That will be able to give you unique product offerings that you can offer that, again, nobody else is going to have. All right, next up, we have one supplier that has some of the best prices. They actually have wholesale pricing, and that is Costco. Now, Costco is awesome because, again, you can benefit from wholesale pricing. Not only that, you can actually create your own store to sell wholesale products as well. Because Costco offers things in bulk as well, you can offer those same products in bulk with a slight markup. Now, Costco offers literally a little bit of anything, food, snacks, clothing, toys, outdoor equipment, outdoor goods, home goods, pretty much anything that you can buy, you can find at Costco, at least some sort of version of it. Now, one thing that really stands out with Costco is the fact that they have extremely quick shipping. Most of their products are shipped between three to five business days. So that in itself is already pretty much rivaling every single one of our suppliers, except for Amazon and AutoDS. Now, another really cool thing about Costco is the fact that they have a really good return policy. So if your customers or if you have any issues with any item that you purchase from Costco, you have up to 90 days from the date of purchase to be able to return or exchange it. That, that's huge. That's three months. Now, this is going to be dependent on the actual product. So some categories of products might have a lower return window, but on average, 90 days is going to be what you're going to be finding. Best part, no questions asked no return merchandise authorization, your products can be returned without a problem. Now, one thing about Costco is the fact that they do have a yearly membership fee. So if you want to source your products from Costco, then you are going to have to pay $60 each year for the membership fee. But don't fret because honestly, you're going to make that back in a few orders. All right, last but not least, in terms of general overall suppliers, we have another one of my favorite ones, which I go to all the time personally, and that's Walmart. On Walmart, you're going to find some of the best deals. On top of that, they have a price match policy. Their price match policy is absolutely amazing. 
Because let's say you're sourcing your products from Walmart and you pay $50 one day. Then the next day or even the next week, it goes down to $45 or even $35. Then you start thinking, ah, if I had waited a little bit to source my product, then I could have made an extra $15. Well, there's no problem there because you can easily reach out to Walmart and they'll price match it. So if that product went on sale, then you're eligible to receive the difference in refund, which ultimately is going to increase your profit. Besides that, they always have different types of rollbacks, which is really their way of saying different types of discounts, but their rollbacks are pretty good. The discounts that they have on Walmart are typically deeper than you would find in any other store or any other supplier. Besides that, most of the products that you source from Walmart can actually be delivered next day. Now that is rivaling Amazon. And last but not least, their customer service, outstanding. Reach out to them, send them an email, within 24 hours, you're gonna have your resolution. They're pretty efficient. And just like the other suppliers that I mentioned so far, they can also integrate with AutoDS, so that way you can benefit from automation. All right, so that's it for our general overall suppliers that you can source pretty much any niche from. Now let's go ahead and move on to our niche suppliers. And the first one for this is gonna be Wayfair. Now, Wayfair is going to specialize in home goods and the home niche. On here, you can find tons of different products ranging from different types of furniture, whether that be for the inside or outside or different rooms, different types of accessories like bedding, rugs, pillows, lighting, and even stuff for the kids. But overall, everything that you're going to find on here is going to be home based or in at least the home niche. Now, Wayfair actually has a massive selection of products. They have over 14 million different products to choose from. Of course, this is taking into consideration all of the different variations, but that's still a lot of things to choose from. And one of the coolest things is, is that when it comes to the home goods niche, if you're starting to sell things like furniture, these are very high ticket items. Furniture, rugs, bedding, these can all be sold at a very, very marked up price. Now, on top of that, they also have their My Way program. Their My Way program is really cool because it gives you a bunch of different perks. Like for one, you get to enjoy free shipping on most products that you can find on the Wayfair website. Then if you're sourcing multiple products, then you're eligible for one day shipping. And if you spend over $49, then you can get free two day shipping. Now sticking to the home goods niche, besides Wayfair, you also have Costway. So Costway is pretty similar to Wayfair, except they don't have the massive product selection. They still have a lot of different products. They have over 8,000 products to choose from, but it's not as much as Wayfair. Now, the good thing about Costway is that they do have a drop shipping program and they have drop shipping agreements. So let's say whatever marketplace that you're selling on requires you to have some sort of proof that you're working with a supplier. You can actually go to Costway. You can send them an email and they'll give you that proof that you need. They'll give you whatever it is that you need to prove that you're working with them and that they are your supplier. Costway also has multiple warehouses, both in the US and in Europe. So you can go international if you want to. Now, besides that, one thing that you do need to keep in mind when you're sourcing from Costway is that the products that you source from Costway are going to be shipped in their packaging. So it is gonna be Costway branded packaging. But don't worry about that because just like any of the other suppliers that ship with their branded packaging, you can just say that you use them as your fulfillment service. But honestly, most of the time, people, they're not going to worry about it. They're, they're going to receive a branded package. And as long as the product is of high quality and it gets there on time, they're not going to care what box it comes in. All right. So up until now, every single one of the suppliers that I've talked about have been able to be integrated with AutoDS. So you can enjoy the benefits automation with all of the previous suppliers. Now, going forward, since these are more niche based suppliers and more independent, I guess you can say, they're not going to have the option to integrate with AutoDS, but they're still very good sources for these different types of niches. So now let's move on to the jewelry niche. And in terms of jewelry, we have Pierce Body. Now on Pierce Body, you can find tons of different jewelry pieces, specifically in the piercing section. Besides that, you also have House of Jewelry. On here, you're gonna find a lot of different types of products that are gonna be specific to, again, jewelry. Now, the first one was more for piercings. This is gonna be more just overall jewelry. Earrings, bracelets, necklaces, and you can find them in a variety of materials as well. Sterling silver, gold, 10 karat gold, 14 karat gold, etc. Then we have clothing. So for the clothing niche, you can actually start using AutoDS and you can use a print on demand. So if you wanna start your own clothing brand, most people typically start with t-shirts or hoodies and things like that. They like to put their designs on there and really like to customize it to their own style or 
to their own brand. Now, because of this, a lot of typical or regular suppliers are going to require you to purchase in bulk. So they're going to tell you, we can customize it for you, but you need to order at least 40 or 50 pieces, but not with print on demand and not with AutoDS. Using AutoDS's print on demand feature, you can go ahead and take any one of these different products, whether it be this crop top, this t-shirt, this hoodie, this kid's shirt, these jackets, these shorts, you get the picture, and simply click into it, edit the product, and upload your image instantly and see exactly what it's gonna look like. So this is what it looks like. You can go ahead and customize it. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. You can go ahead and change the color. Let's say I want a green t-shirt instead. You can customize this exactly how you need it to be. And the best part is that they ship pretty quick. So typically they're going to ship between two to nine business days. That's going to include production and shipping and transit times. Besides that, you also have my online fashion store, which specializes in different types of women's clothing, such as different types of pants, dresses, shirts, and pretty much everything. Now, one cool thing about this website is that they actually have a dropship program. So you can go ahead and send them a message get with them and they'll explain to you everything that you need to know in order to actually be able to be eligible to use your dropshipping program. Dropshipping programs have lots of different benefits such as better pricing, better shipping times, and a lot of the times even account managers. Besides that though, we also have immediate apparel, which is again gonna specialize in different types of clothing. For the most part, these are gonna be women's clothing in a few different types of categories like casual, social occasions, two-piece sets, jumpsuits, pretty much for any occasion and for any type of person. Onto the candles niche. So this is a pretty unique one, but people love candles. And candles do absolutely amazing on websites like Etsy. So if you're drop shipping or if you're selling on Etsy, candles are huge hits on there. Now, one of the best suppliers that you can use in terms of candles is going to be Wax and Wick. Now, Wax and Wick actually has a drop shippers program that can help you get started in finding the best products, but also getting you some of the best prices. And it also gives you access to discounts and even better order fulfillment. So they'll go ahead and take care of the order for you. Now, one thing about Wax and Wick is that they are kind of limited in their product selections in terms of the types of candles they offer. So for the most part here, you're only going to be finding soy wax candles. Sticking to the candles niche, next up we have Candle Builders. Now, Candle Builders also has a pretty limited selection, but you are able to customize the packaging, you're able to customize the labeling and the type of jar that it comes in. Also, the fragrance and the type of candle it is. And to make things easier, they actually have a design template that you can use to design your labeling, which is going to just make everything a lot easier and a lot quicker. Now, unfortunately, as far as the styles of candles, they only have two. So they're going to have the dark one over here and the lighter one over here in terms of the jar. But besides that, they do have a few different scents that you can choose from. So they have these three different types of candles. They have the darker one, the lighter one, and they have a thinner one, a 13 ounce candle. And then these are the different scents they have. Vanilla bean, comfort spice, sea breeze, and a few others. So what you can do is you can make any combination between these scents and this packaging. All right. So the last niche we're going to cover is my personal favorite niche and that's the pets niche. So for the pets niche, we have two specific suppliers that I'm gonna give you, one of them being wholesalepet.com. Now on here, you can find tons of different pet products, all at wholesale prices. Now Wholesale Pet has hundreds of different types of wholesale vendors that you can work with that can give you some of the best pricing out there. Now, Wholesale Pet is dropshipper friendly, but you are going to have to look at the order terms that you have for the different vendors on there. So really, Wholesale Pet is going to be the marketplace. And in that marketplace, you're going to have your different suppliers or your different vendors, but they are going to be wholesale vendors. So just make sure you check out each one of them to make sure that they have a proper dropshipping program. And last but not least, we have My Pet Warehouse. Now, My Pet Warehouse is actually located in Australia. So if you're dropshipping in Australia, this is the pet supplier for you. So for one, they have free shipping, which as always is awesome. But two, they have one of my favorite features, which is price match policy. So if you find the same product cheaper anywhere else, they'll go ahead and refund you the difference or they'll price match it to match the competitor price. Aside from that, though, they also have a pretty good return policy. So as long as you contact them within 14 days, you can go ahead and return or exchange any one of your products or any one of your orders. And that just about does it for the ultimate suppliers list. What did you think of today's list? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, while you're there, make sure you leave the comment hashtag suppliers 
and let me know which one of these suppliers is your favorite so you can gain access to the cheat sheet. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you're this far into the video, that means you enjoyed it and you're still enjoying it. So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.